animal mistreatment caught on tape. All new tonight, we hear from a woman who believes her dog may have been mistreated. ABC 15's Ashley Peretta is sitting down with her for an exclusive interview. But first, a warning. Some of what you're about to see may be hard to watch. We came by Critter Corral Pet Grooming and we can see that some of the signage is no longer posted on the door as we learn more about the alleged cases of mistreatment. We want to warn you, some of the videos you are about to see are graphic. Um, the video was sent to me by a friend. So I didn't even know there was a video out there. Brianna Liel taking her Pomeranian poodle mix named Lulu to Critter Corral Pet Grooming since March of 2021. I would never have ever taken my dog somewhere where she would be unsafe. Um, so yeah, that's very disturbing. Former employees of the business sharing videos with ABC 15 last week, claiming the owner has been mistreating animals. Brianna telling us she received this text message from the owner, saying in part, I had an ex-employee try to threaten and then blast me with an old video where I was burnt out and got upset with a dog while grooming it. So I just feel like she was more so trying to cover her tracks and, and her image instead of more so being, you know, empathetic and apologetic to what she has done. Brianna reaching out to ABC 15, thinking her dog was the one being slammed on a table. Yeah, I immediately just text her asking her, is this my dog? And uh, she didn't respond at all. We contacted the employee who recorded the owner's actions. She tells us Lulu was not one of the dogs in the videos and has already reached out to those impacted. Brianna is relieved, but still has concerns. She would be very quiet for hours and then she wouldn't eat for days afterwards. There's been times I found her downstairs, like hiding in the corner, shaking. We are not naming the owner because no criminal charges have been filed. For now, Brianna is focused on giving Lulu as much love as possible. I'm going to proceed with, you know, making sure that she does not do this to anybody else's animal ever again. Last week, Phoenix PD confirming to us that they were looking into at least one report of mistreatment and the Arizona Humane Society also telling us then they had received reports made against this business. Now we reached out to both of them today, but did not hear back. I'm Ashley Perez, ABC 15, Arizona.